Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. And before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be doing the New Year Booktuber tag. I know it's a little late. The day I'm filming this is already January 3rd, and by the time you see this, it'll probably be a lot later than that. But I thought I'd do it anyways. So first question is, what am I most excited for for 2023? And I think I'm just excited to film more content and hopefully have my channel grow some more and just be able to film more content because I love creating content and hopefully you guys love watching it. And the next question is my Goodreads goal. And my Goodreads goal for this year is 100 books. It is 100 books because last year my I read um, 120. So I feel like 100 is achievable. Because I don't think I'm, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to be able to read as many as I did last year. But who knows. But my goal is 100. Hopefully I can achieve that. And I didn't want to pick something higher than last year because I wanted to still be definitely achievable. So this year I'm going to go with 100 books. Okay, next is to list three five-star predictions. So I'm going to include two of them as one. And that is The Two Towers and The Return of the King, which are the... Second and third books in the Lord of the Rings series. I gave the first one five stars, and I love the movies, so these are five-star predictions. And those are by J.R.R. Tolkien. And next five-star prediction is Ice Planet Barbarian by Ruby Dixon. And the last five-star prediction is The Deal by L. Kennedy, which is the first book in the Off-Campus series. So the next question is a genre, subgenre, or trope you want to read more of. So I'm going to give you one of each. For trope that I want to read more of, I want to read more age gap. And I also want to read more single dad because I love single dad romances. And for a subgenre I want to read more of, I want to read more dark romance. So I don't know if that really counts as a subgenre, but yeah, it does. It's dark romance is what I want to read more of. And for a genre that I want to read more of, I want to read more mystery. Next is a trope that I think is going to be popular in 2023. And I actually have no idea what's going to be popular. I don't even have really a guess. But if I had to pick something, I think that student-teacher romances are going to become more popular this year. And we'll check in at the end of the year and, you know... I'll be completely wrong, but that is my prediction, and I'm sticking to it. So three bookish goals I have for 2023 is to stop buying as many books. I want to, in 2023, I want to read double the amount of books from my shelves that I buy. So if I buy 30 books this year, I want to read 60. So that is my goal. And another goal I have is to just work my way through my collection of books. Not get any from the library and you know all that. Just work through the books I own physically. And I still will get some from the library and I'll still have some on ebook e like on my phone. But my goal is to read mostly books I physically own. And my third bookish goal is to read more books that I have had for a long time, like TBR Veterans. I have some books on here that I've had for several months and some a lot, like a lot of months, like eight or nine months. And I always put them off and I want to read the new books I get because I buy a book and I want to read it. I don't want to read the book I got eight months ago, but my goal is to read the books I've had on here for a long time so that I get them read. And that is my three bookish goals. My three personal goals, one is to eat less chocolate because I love chocolate and I eat too much of it. Another personal goal is to get more exercise, not a lot, like not like do what hardcore work is, but like going for a walk almost every day and like that kind of thing, or at least a couple times a week. And my third personal goal is to just work on my mental health and, you know, get better. <laughs> And I am going to go check the last two questions because I actually don't remember what they are. Okay, so there's only one question left, and that is, what do you want to leave behind in 2022? I want to leave behind so many things. 2022 was not a good year for me. 
And so, yeah, I'm not really going to answer that one because there's just a lot that I want to leave behind. Well, actually, I'll answer one to do with bookish, book related. I want to stop buying books that I'm not completely interested in. Because especially when I go to used bookstores, like to Value Village or other used bookstores, I will go and I'll be like, this book sounds okay, and I buy it. No, I'm only going to, I'm hopefully only going to buy books that actually sound good and interesting to me. Not just books that sound, yeah, that's okay. And I want to leave behind that in 2022, just buying anything that sounds decent. <laughs> I need to save money and, well only buy books that I truly want to read because otherwise I end up with books on my shelves like I do now that I'm like, they sound good and I want to read them. But every time I go, I'm like, I should read that. I've had it for a long time. I'm like, no, let's pick something else. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before you go, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'll see you all next time.